Today, day one of my vlog, uh, Monday, 10th of June, 7.55 a.m. And we're in my shift mode. Um, just done four day shifts. And I've got two nights. So, yay, five off coming up. <laughs> um, I had some comments um, about my hours. My hours are, it's standard for company I work with and within what they call IROC, which is Integrated Remote Operations Centre. So we, as a, a floor, are all on the same roster, well, basically all on the same roster, um, where we run, we manage our, and coordinate, like, for me, it's trains, so I coordinate trains going about 400 kilometres from one end to another, um, from the mine to the port. Um, Remote Operations Centre also controls the mining. Um, some of it controls the trucks, so the remote trucks. Um, crushes, loadouts, all of that. Um, we have another crew that deals with blasting, they don't do the blastings, they drill the holes from Perth. And then we have port operations and they manage the port, yet again, from Perth. Um, but yeah, we're all in that roster um, and I will say I, I love the roster. Um, it's it's what, what they call, it's a sportsman's roster and it's family friendly. I get two weekends off in a row. Um, obviously no public holidays, but we get compensated for that. Um, we get five weeks at leave year, leave a year. Um, but yeah, I think I was having a bad fortnight, last fortnight. Um, and yeah, that was just a bit, I think I mentioned how much I'd worked for a, way too much, but it was just a bad fortnight and I was focusing on it. And I was feeling tired. Um, not so tired now. Even if I have only had four hours sleep, but that's my own doing. It's the way I get myself ready for night shift. Um, so for those that have made comments on, um, so on my fortnightly vlog, um, the comments that were on that um, were quite interesting. Um, I'll just, come on, be nice. There we go. Oh, actually, there's only three comments. Um, Anna, um, you can now have my email. So on, on my fortnightly vlog, um, comment from Anna. You've got my email now, so can you send me an email? Um, and I'll respond back to that. Um, Kathy, you know, tons of hours of shifts. It sounds as if there are more to come in the future weeks. Not how, not sure how you keep up with your job, cleaning your home, and everyday life. Um, and there's more comments. I'm loving the black pants. The, it looks amazing in the frame. Coming along nicely in your custom. Lots of hours already. Group turned out perfect. Yes, I'm very happy with Group. Especially after you resin him. And the bits of glitter shine through. Have bad luck with DAC. Yep. Um, both Kathy and Rachel have said basically to compile a list and let them know. At least then I'll let them know. Um, which I will, I've thought on that and I will actually do that. Once I've completed it, I will send them a list of um, the issues. Um, as I suppose something that I say is you you don't know how you don't know how you're affecting somebody else. That's, that goes with the same for a company unless you say something to them. So um, if I don't let the company know, my list of issues, what I've had problems with, um, it won't help them improve. I suppose that's the way to say it. Um, but yeah. Um, what else was said? The waterfall canvas is 
amazing and very, very big. Um, <laughs> it is huge. I'm still <clears throat> amazed at it. I actually unrolled it the other day um, to take photos of it and I shared it on someone's Facebook group. I can't quite remember who's. And I just forgot how big it was unrolled because I've been dealing with it rolled up. So yeah, very big, um, but enjoyable, very enjoyable. Um, not many issues with the drills on that one. Um, so yeah, I will say I'm not sure how I'll frame that one. I'm tempted to just put tape around the edges and uh, um, let it go up like that. I believe the drills, I'll have no issue with drills. I may put a light coating of aqua glue on that, but I'll see how I feel on that one. And that would only be to fill in the gaps so that I don't get dust and lolly dog hair um, on, um, on it. Uh, Rachel Ray, thank you that you love my finishes. Yes, um, I do get some done. <laughs> uh, try a shot lip canvas from the Alibaba shop. I've got that. I've got mine. Um, I did put a comment on there. Go watch Diamond Painting with Orchid. She, it was hers that made it so easy for me to order. Um, there was a little bit of backwards and forwards because I also was trying to get a custom. Um, made on the short lint, but um, it kind of worked out too expensive. I looked at getting just the canvas so that I could do a blank custom on it myself and I could get a roll of it and it was going to cost me $200 odd dollars. Um, so that was too, to me that was just too much for a custom. So um, yeah, so that's responses to that one. Um, yeah, that was quite an um, interesting fortnight that I had. Um, this fortnight, what have I got on my agenda for this fortnight? I have to book tickets to Cairns. I'm going to Cairns for a couple of weeks. I'm going to spend some Time with my dad while his wife comes over here and prepares for a break. Um, so I'm still trying to work out what I'll do during that time. I think I might actually go through and do some whipping chats um, of my leopard to get that holiday. I'll get them try and get that South African holiday all completed, and then just release that while I'm on schedule while I'm away and. As I say, I'm not, I'm not one for schedules, <laughs> um, but I think that's one time I may need to do it. Um, and obviously, I might do a few recordings while I'm in Cairns, and they will just go up from my phone straight into YouTube, which I've never done before. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um, Oh, okay. So I have my diamond painting from the company in Perth coming, which is the Steampunk Girl. Um, I got an email from them. Just bear with me while I find it. Um, I sent them an email on Thursday the sits because they because it's a um, an artist's work they actually do, do tell you it's going to take four to six weeks I think it was because it's an artist's work but I sent them an email to ask how it was going um, when to expect it um, so I ordered it the 14th of May I contacted them on the 6th, so that's 1, 2, one, two three and a half weeks. Um, and 
Yeah, I got an email saying it's out. It's due for delivery. Um, order is in due for delivery today, so they get the order. Um, and if it come, are they so the, what they sent the shipment with your order in it is due for delivery today. If it comes early enough for us to unpack and sort, we will try and get your order in the post tomorrow. Otherwise, it will be Monday. So what they do, they order all the um, diamond panels in. When they arrive, they go through sort and they check and then they send it out. Um, from them, it is a case of, um, once I mail it, it's only three days. I could have said, hold it there and I'll go pick it up and it would have been three hours. I would have been there and back in three hours. Um, but I think I've uh, done enough at the moment. So I got notified on... Where did I get notified? They sent me an email on Friday to say it's been shipped expectedly the next couple of days. So, yes, it is with Australia Post. They got it at 10 past four Friday afternoon. So, I reckon I'll see it tomorrow. Fingers crossed today, but I reckon tomorrow. Which is perfect time. Um because tomorrow, just one day closer to me finishing shift. <laughs> um, and what else? Oh, I spent an obscene amount of money and oh, I'm just, I'm just cracking up at it now because how much I actually did spend on two diamond paintings from DIY Mutual. And for what I spent on it, I hope I don't offend anyone. Um, all, all what, 483 of my subscribers. Um, because I like the pictures and I will say one is actually that I saw I want on this wall directly behind me. Um, it is gorgeous. Um, it is a special order. So what they say when you order by special order, um, uh, hang on. They're actually called, they call, well, not special orders, they're called pre-orders. Pre-orders, they take three to four weeks to deliver. So I ordered... 29th of May, so that's only one and a half weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I, I will say I spent an obscene amount of money on two diamond paintings, plus customization of one. Um, and I'm not sure whether I should say how much I spent. I'm just tempted to put the link into what I ordered um, and just leave you guys to be horrified at what I paid but I've heard a lot of good stuff from DIY moon stuff at Moonshop and what I have um, ordered it I haven't seen before so yeah um, plans for the fortnight still going on just a bit of this and a bit of that and see how we go um, I might have to try and take, slow it down a tad, but me who says slow it down a tad, I never do. Um, so today's date, Wednesday, 12th of June, 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. So I just finished four days and two nights just, and I'm now on five days off um, and heading to bed once I've finished drinking my cup of interesting um, interesting times um, what can I say 
got some, yeah, I mean, I did one extra day than normal for this, for that block, um, which was a collaboration day, team day. Um, by, I think, three o'clock this morning, I'd actually hit the wall and thought, I am so tired. Oops, 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 oops. Um, and then about half past four, I got my second wind, or was it my fourth wind, or my fifth wind, I don't know. But um, I perked up and came good. Um, so yeah. Um, what have I got going on? Get my nails done um, in the next couple of days. Generally I get them done every four weeks. Um, they're just too long now. Um, I've done some diamond painting. What have I uploaded? Have I uploaded anything? I don't think I've uploaded anything yet. Nope, still not uploaded anything. Haven't done much because, you know, work kind of prioritises. Um, so I start, I've got to book my flights today to go to Cairns. And then, um, get my stuff together, get organised. I... Assume where's my, oh, I don't know where my phone is. Um, my diamond painting from my steampunk diamond painting um, has not arrived yet. I have my fingers crossed. Whoops. Hang on, I'm just I'm just pulling logging into my into the Australian Post website. It's listed as being in Malaga, um, which is um, just over there. <laughs> Not the same suburb, but uh, yeah. So I expect possibly, if I'm lucky, it'll be today. If not, tomorrow. Um, what else? St haven't had anything processed from DIY Moon. So there's two diamond paintings from them still waiting on them. They haven't been processed yet. Not really expecting them to be because uh, it takes a little bit of time. I am hoping that it's in before I go to Cairns. Um, so yeah, I would like to take that, take those with me. Um, so yeah, I'll book my flights today, or what I do, I book my flight there, um, and then I don't book my return flight until a few days before I'm due to come back, just because it's, um, I might decide to come home earlier, or I might decide to stay a couple more days, because I've got a bit of flexibility up my sleeve um, before I have to come back. So I'm only t I'm taking two blocks off um, which is actually only five nine shifts um, but in that time it'll be three three or four three and a half weeks I think it is I'll have off all up because of my roster days off either side of those. So yeah, um, book that flight today and then start thinking about what I'm going to take with me. Uh, last time I flew over to Cairns I did have a 25 by 25 partial I did on the way there and then I had a 25 by 30 full round drill that I did on the way back. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to do that there, there um, this time. I mean, I travelled with the light board. I had the small A4 light board. <clears throat> and I was able to travel, no, no issue at all. Um, and work on it while I was um, flying. But what I'm contemplating is actually um, try... And I know I shouldn't really do it, but try a beaded cross-stitch. Purely because um, it might be easier to sit on the plane and work with. Um, and 
also while I'm at my dad's place it will be a case that I'll be able to although yes I diamond paint there well, what I did the last time I was there um, this time I might be able to just do some beaded cross stitch sit on the couch um, and see how things go there because I might have the well not might I do a lot of sitting around um, in cans now so I just sit don't go anywhere. Um, go out a little bit, but not much. Um, but yeah, um, I'll leave that one there, short, sweet, and um, I'll see you in a couple of days, or more like it, in about a second or two. Sunday, 16th of June, 20 past in the morning. Um, did a bit of an update. I am so my next recording will be on Friday morning. Maybe after night shift. Um, I received notification that uh, my order for two diamond paintings from DIY DIY Moon is on the way. Um, it delivery said Monday because I'm actually at work. I've actually requested for it to be delivered Wednesday between like 7 and 12 so that it'll arrive while I'm at home. Um, eagerly anticipating that one. Um, I will put the link in to the video clip that has it. Um, how far along? I think it's only about six minutes into the ad. Is it six? No, hang on. I'm just trying to find it. Um, oh no, it's earlier than that. Three minutes and 40 seconds in is um, where my video is, where, sorry, my diamond pen is, so you will have seen it before this goes up, because obviously I will unbox it as soon as it arrives, if it arrives before a certain time on Wednesday, if not it will get opened up on an unbox on Thursday. And that will go out straight away. Now, I, my Lion family, so that's the one from Dumb Pain 911. I tore the plastic while I was opening it up, while I was um, peeling it back. So I had to put parts of paper down. I use a cheap roll of oven press paper, a very cheap roll of oven press paper to line the table when I'm doing resin so that protects stuff and me being me it was like oh well that's the same as baking paper which it is but it's not in relation to putting on diamond paintings so my whole sh I put a whole sheet down on um, my diamond painting I need to discover that um, that one was not suitable um, the baking paper that I have is suitable so I used about five baby wipes to get the paper off works um, and I should have actually shown that as a um, way to do it fix it but Two things, I was pissed off at myself, and the second is that um, I, well Nathan was at home, so, and he was actually right there in the kitchen annoying me while I'm angry and pissed off at myself. Um, what else? Oh, nails, got them done, they got bling bling. 
Um, these are not from diamond painting. These actually were... Move along. Get it over my face and then I'll focus on it. Um, yeah, they were actually what they supplied. So, yeah, they're quite pretty. The pinky purple is actually UV. So if I go under black light, it will show up. Um, however, unless I go to a nightclub or a crime scene, I'm only going to, oh, they are the only times I will see it while I'm done. Okay, so I'll leave this here. This is just a quick recording and I will catch you probably Thursday, if not before. Okay, uh, Friday. 21st of June <clears throat> 20 no 10 to 8 in the morning just finished night shift and it was supposed to be my last night shift I um, have decided to do an additional shift so that means um, it's actually a paid shift so a little bit of extra funds for when I go to Cairns um, I'll go through some of the things that I've done um, uh, so I have unbrushed a steampunk. Um, so I uh, unboxed a steampunk lady in red this week. She's um really cool, really cool. Um, the first recording I did, the volume there was something wrong with. Second one, um, yeah, still, but you know, um. You might notice a difference now. I am actually have a little microphone on. And then I did more of my Lioness a Cub and my order from DIY Moon Shop arrived. So that is, those two that came from DIY Moon are stunning and I'm absolutely wrapped with. Um, it's really funny that I saw... Um, all these sparklers are getting called on um, YouTube. So all these sparklers that people were unboxing. So all the bigger YouTubers had been sent these sparklers so that they could, you know, show everybody. And uh, I actually already had some coming in the diamond painting. So it was just, it was just really funny to see them come out. Um, and I think I said it before, DIY Moon has had those for a while and they actually call them electric drills because they give an um, electric lighting subtype to um, the diamond paintings. And I mean, one of, them, one of the ones that I got, the girl by the carousel, will actually have lights on it by the look of it. They'll, they'll make it look like a light. And it is going on yeah, this wall here. That's where that one's going to go. I have a spot just for it. Um, what else has uh, this arrived yesterday? This is 119 centimeters by 80. It is my blank canvas, the correct size. What does that mean? That means that the leopard one, which was my initial plan. Uh, before I change my mind. So the leopard that I have um, will show that. Um, hang on. Let's see if I can show you the image. Um, bear with me while I go looking for the image. There it is there. And bear with me while I get this into position. Um, yeah, directly over my face. Perfect. Um, so this is the one here that I want to do. I will do on this canvas. So um, yeah, that finally arrived a while but it got there uh, what else has happened I'll leave him there I like him 
there we go um my phone's here somewhere i on my sorry trying to grab my phone out of my bag i've obviously only just come home from work <laughs> um i did receive an email from Morana um, to let me know that she sent the electric diamonds that weren't in that Girl by Carousel short, short and very quick response to say yep they're sending it um, yep they apologise and then they're sending it so um, if anything to go by I haven't received an email from the courier yet um, by DHL um, but they'll send me a tracking number and I dare say that I will receive them Monday look forward to that one um, what have I achieved for the fortnight um, I've achieved a bit but then again I haven't achieved much um, so um, I'll show that go take you through those um, so yeah what I will do is um, so I do enjoy doing is going through the comments because I absolutely love the comments that I receive and um, the comments actually give something gives me an idea on how people feel about what um, I have done um, so where are we going? I'm just trying to go back to when oh, it's the last one that I posted. Um, in the last week, I will say dearly missing you and missing you dearly. How about that? Um, love seeing it when you've actually looked at one of my videos and you put a comment. It makes me um get my hopes up that we'll see you soon um, but yeah so a um, few other interesting comments and like a lot of them are about how I'm coming along with what a lot of the diamond paintings I'm doing um, and which I really do appreciate comments like that and one of the comments I had which was only last night this morning um, eight hours ago <laughs> was from Anna um, she's talking to say she's she watches all the videos from DIY moon shop and um, she actually did see mine pack up but she packed up but she didn't realize it was me um i mean that's easy done because you know i'm diamond in the rough here um and in that one you actually see my full name um but yeah one of the things she goes is have fun doing these paintings um my comment back was i so want to start one of them not sure which one i only have three dps i'm currently working on and Anna's come back with I'm sure you'll enjoy both so it won't matter which you choose what do you mean only three lol how many do you normally have going on at once I can barely handle doing two at once um, and I responded back to that but I also realized that I actually do have four on the run um, because I do and the best way to explain it I do big diamond paintings um, I can do I've done a 30 by 40 and I do it in a day um, because of the speed that I do it so which is why I do the bigger ones however when you work on a big diamond painting you're working with the same symbols the same colors um, and if you've got any type of issue with it you're having to deal with that issue as well so what I do is I will I mean I have four or five days off at a time so I have plenty of time to actually diamond paint but what I do find that um, 
I'll get up in the morning and have my coffee or come home from work in the morning and cup, have a coffee and diamond paint at the same time same time um, I'll do that for a few hours and then I will pack that diamond painting up and um, go do what I have to do around the house all the cleaning and tidying up and all the other stuff that goes with keeping your house in order thankfully there's only two of us in the house oh okay so today's date is 21st of June Friday it's 20 past or nearly 20 past 8 in the morning um, supposed to be my last night shift last night oh there we go you're actually seeing Bo walking around I've changed the angle I'm actually using my mobile phone which means you're going to see me looking at you now but you'll also see Bo as he walks around um, yeah last night was supposed to be last night shift um, I had the opportunity for an additional shift so I've taken that on I so I'll do another shift so that's just three nights in a row just um, right so what have I done for the week <laughs> well week fortnight I've done a little bit I have um, I'll record what uh, on what I've done on my phone I'll show you at some stage um, when I stop this section of the recording uh, I think what I might do is show you what I've completed uh, I'll show you how I store my large diamond paintings which are too big to fit in a in the wardrobe uh, and I'll show you um, what else will I show you I'll show you how I how my what, what I've got in my wardrobe that I store in there which is completed and also some uncompleted well one uncompleted diamond painting and some paint by numbers uh, and I'll also show you the reason why I am I've been looking at getting in and doing the resin um, my son I mention it so many times my son's soulmates it's a five panel it is massive and I want to resin it so that's why I'll, I'll show you that one and that's where I started why I looked at art resin so that and I'll show you my desk and I'll show you the lovely little piece of machinery that I have down at my feet um, which is really a nice luxury to have worth it was a Christmas present from Nathan at one stage there okay so what have I done besides what I'm going to show you on the uh, on my bed I have well guest bed I have received the steampunk diamond painting so that's from Gemmet um, they are based about a three hour round trip from where I am where I live um, and there is original artworks there and Kathy um, <laughs> watched the video when she went to um, obviously the website because she must have liked it and she has actually <clears throat> it's really funny she actually did order it and let me know that yes they do ship international so if you are if you have a look at that steampunk please go and have a look at the original artworks it is there's a range of things um, quite a big range of things for you to choose from um, but I mean I went for the um, steampunk uh, I see steampunk and I automatically think of my son and his wife or my daughter-in-law because they had a steampunk themed wedding um, yeah so that's that what else I got a lot of um, people saying thank you for sharing um, Michelle Priestley there was a yeah you're coming to Cairns yes I'm coming to Cairns um, I'll be there for just over two weeks won't be doing much um, but yeah I'll be I'll be in Cairns um, and I'll probably do some video footage of 
when I do go out, I'll do some video footage and show you around Cairns a little bit if I manage to get out and do that. Um, what else? What else? Who else has made some comments? Um, yeah, I think I mentioned it before. Like I last block last fortnight i i was tired so i was very focused on the amount of time i was at work and it was get to me um but i've been doing this shift this roster for two and a half years and i wouldn't trade this for doing monday to friday five days a week would not trade it at all um what else oh anna anna dion she put some comments on there on my youtube on the um unboxing from diy moon and she watches diy moons and she orders from them and she actually did see my order um getting boxed up but she didn't know it was me um and she actually placed an order um, also in that um, in that boxing so that was pretty cool um, and then there was a bit, I had a bit of a conversation with her on that and it was really funny because I tend to have you know I've made a comment about I don't know which one to do next um, and I do mean it as in here because I'm taking steampunk with me to Cairns and Either I'll take the carousel or I'll take um, Elsa with me to Cairns. So I've got two two diamond paintings while I'm over there um, that I'll work on. Um, but I work on, as you see, I work on numerous diamond paintings. Not necessarily exactly the same time, but I will work any on three different diamond paintings in one day. Because... I have four or five days off at a time, um, which means can run a house in that time. Excuse me. And what I do is I'll get up in the morning with my coffee, diamond paint for a few hours. And then sometimes I'll have a second coffee, <laughs> but I'll do about two or three hours and then I'll put it away. I'll go do whatever I have to do around the house um and then in the afternoon i get to and i'll pull out a different diamond painting and then even the same in the evening i'll work on a different one and then in amongst that there is also recording so um the waterfall which you'll see i've actually been recording doing that as a time lapse so i'm gonna put that all together as one video a one youtube clip when it's all done um, and that is using, so I've got a program specific to use for time lapse and it takes one picture every two seconds. So um, it, it keeps it exactly even. There's some, like another vid, one of the others, the only way for me to, oh, I mean, editing. In editing, when I'm editing something that I haven't filmed through time lapse is never at the same speed as everything else. So. Or all the others that I've done I've time-lapsed um, but so I work on a variety of but the reason behind that is because I need variety and what I mean by that if I was working on one diamond painting morning afternoon night I would get bored with it and I would slow down and it would take me longer to do in time wise um, so I change them around so you look at the lion I'm only doing the lion lioness and cub I'm only doing one section a week of that because that one is one I'm recording it um, granted time-lapse so there's no volume you can't hear any noise going on in the background but because that takes so much concentration I keep that for I tend to do that one the night before I go on to night shift um, because I stay up later and I'll just allow myself that anywhere up to five hours to work on that one in one sitting 
because of the detail of it and the, the confetti, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, so that's got the yellows and the greens. And then I've got the Lion family, which is a range of browns, reds, greens, and some blues. And then, I, so that's a square. Those two are squares, right? And then I've got my big waterfall with the range of colors on that, and they are rounds. So I am working on different colors, different diamonds, um, which just adds variety, which is really good. And then the paint by numbers, that is something else that's just slightly different. And that's what keeps me um, working on and doing, um, well, keeps me interested. I am someone that gets bored with a process very quickly, which by chopping and changing, um, yeah, I don't stop. Okay, so um, yeah, the what I got from DIY Moon with the electrified diamonds, when I ordered those diamond paintings for them, I hadn't seen any of the YouTubers post anything about the sparkling diamonds. Um, but I will say that in the last few days I've seen quite a lot of posts of sparkling diamonds by who have I seen do it? Donnie, I think Donnie did it and Ella and Stitcherista actually I don't know whether Donnie did it but Stitcher Easter and Allard did, uh, did theirs. I saw those and um, I thought, oh, they are exactly what I had coming. But I will say that I will find that now that they're out there like that, we will see a lot more of them on YouTube. Um, which is it's going to be cool to see how people adapt and put them into their own diamond painting. So that's something that's going to be really exciting is um, that's going to be different because you get the beads and it's your choice where you place them, which then makes the artwork, someone will have this picture and this picture exactly the same, two different people, but someone will put the sparkles up here and someone will put the electrifieds down there and it will make the pictures more individual. So I reckon they're absolutely brilliant out there um, for, for diamond painting it's absolutely brilliant um, it's great um, and it made me it's actually funny it made me think about um, marketing that's done on YouTube and influences on YouTube um, but it's really funny how you'll see all the larger YouTubers um, will all get the same thing to put on their channel. So you watch four or five of the bigger YouTubers all pack, unbox the same thing and upload within 24 hours of each other. Um, and I find it really amusing to watch and you can, you can go, I, I'll see somebody post something and say, I've, I've received this. And then immediately in my head, I'm thinking, well, this person, this person, this person, this person, they're all going to unbox it. So I'm going to be able to see it in a couple of different variations and how these pe people like it differently and how they feel about it differently, which is really good. Um, but um, it's all about variety. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave that here for now and I will show you what I've done and the other bits and pieces um, that I want to show you and I will get back to you shortly. <laughs> Sorry guys, I lifted the phone up and I dropped it. So I'm just showing you differently, I'm not putting this on my desk because this is too big um, what I've got. This is actually a queen size bed with my diamond paintings in the guest room. So this I have done some more paint by numbers which is looking really really good really happy with it it's taking a bit longer than the last one I did but that's because if you look there's a lot of small 
details on there. Okay, so that's the paint by numbers. Put that one out there. Next one is the lion family. So as you can see, I now have the lioness done. This is where, um, so I had clear covering here, and um, this is one of the reasons why I don't like clear covering. As I was pulling it back, um, it actually split in the middle. So it ended up, um, I just couldn't keep it in one piece. So I took it all off and put down parchment paper. I did put down some paper that wasn't suitable and then had to clean it off. Um, but I think I mentioned that previously. But this is where I'm at with the Lion family. Okay. The next one is... <laughs> Whoops, sorry. So I am nearly, I'm about, about five centimetres off being halfway done on the waterfall. So if you can see... Yeah, this is the queen this is a queen size bed um, so yeah and I am loving the look of this um, oops sorry waterfall that water is just it looks so real it doesn't look too pixelated at all um, and you yeah, know this wording which is for what I have used on Google Translate is seek or search, which is, I find is actually appropriate for this picture. Um, AB drills on this. I will actually bring you down so you can see the AB drills. You can't... It, they are there, but you can't really see them. The reason why I say... so. These ones here are the ABs. But in this painting, they are not really necessary. Up here in the tree, we have ABs. These are ABs. And even in this one, it's nice to have the sparkle, but in reality, I, I don't believe ABs are a necessity because if you've got a good quality drills, they spark enough that the, the A, B, Bs don't matter. Okay, so we come along to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six sections now completed. So six pages. We can actually see, we've got, starting to see like the branches for the tree behind and this bit here, that's actually the tip of the lioness's ear. So, yeah, I've worked on only four things. Only four things. But I thought I'd show you a little bit different. I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey. Um, and show you a couple of different things. One is this here. This is the back door in my guest room. So I actually have Elsa there. Because <laughs> these are too wide to fit inside my wardrobe. Girl by Carousel. Oh, uh, stuck under the door handle. There we go. Sorry if I'm jostling around there. And that one under there, you can't see it, is the steampunk. So this is how I hang my big canvases that are too big for the wardrobe. So none of my canvases are ever left. As soon as I open them up, they are hung up. Isn't she stunning? She's got a glow on her nose. She needs her nose powdered. That's what it looks like. Um, so yeah, that's how I, my big canvases is just two skirt or trouser hangers on hooks and just kept behind the door like that. Um, flip side of that is my partner when he come, if he ever comes into this room, he doesn't shut the door so he doesn't see my big ones. 
there's a hint and a trick. Okay, I will come back to you in a second. Okay, so I'm just in the, this is the room where I do the resin and you can probably hear the difference in the um, sound. But this is, down here, is the Soulmates 5 panel, which is quite big and there's a lot of blue in that. And if we're getting close, there is so much confetti. But, so that's my son's. Um, and it's this one is what brought me to working on resin work. Okay, so diamond paintings that I've got completed that I haven't framed are actually inside this box. Oh, well, inside these two pieces of cardboard. I also have them hanging up in my wardrobe in the craft room. Okay, so this is the craft room. I haven't shown you, I haven't done any more whip and trap travels on my leopard, which is why I didn't worry about to bring him out. But all my diamond paintings that I have completed are in here. My paint by numbers, they're even stored that way with the paints and everything in there. Um, these are ones where I'm yet to do so I'm what to do with them. Um, it's like this one here. I know what I'm going to do with that one. I'm going to be throwing that one in the bin. Um, my tiger, I've got to frame him. So this is what I do with the ones that I am yet to do stuff with. Um, they just hang yet again on skirt hangers out of the way. Unless it's something that I've done and I'm not happy with it. And then if I'm not happy with it, that's where it goes because I don't want to look at it ever again. Which is the rhinestone one that I did um, is hanging up because I just need to throw it out. Okay, so I'm going to take you to another place in my house. Okay, does this look like a very good, interesting place? So this is actually my desk. I have computer there, video camera there. That one there is normally facing down. And it's this one here that you see on my face. But this is the one I'm using for my face right now because I'm trying to work through the sound issue. I have a light. I have, um, this one here's a storage tray for the spare round drills I get for the short lit canvas because they are separate to standard rounds and to my squares but so that's my desk what i will show you is one of the fantastic parts of my when i diamond paint and i will bring it out <laughs> oh it looks grotty oh so that there is a really really good thing that's a foot massager and i use that to keep <laughs> Uh, just to keep blood circulating through my feet. Um, it is currently unplugged, but my feet go in there and I get a foot massage. That's one tool that is one essential piece of equipment that I absolutely love um, for when I'm diamond painting. Because, uh, uh, you know, we sit there and do so much, we sit there for so long, or I do. So, yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little showing of um, what I've done. Um, I did miss the fact, I don't know whether I mentioned it, that I have received the blank canvas to the correct sizing, the replacement blank canvas to the correct sizing. Um, so I will be doing that one. I will be doing another custom, blank custom, but that has to be after this line is done, the lioness and cub done, because they just take too much too much um it's quite interesting doing those um what have i got plans for the week um i was gonna pull out my phone and have a look at my calendar <laughs> but i'm recording on my phone all right so what have i got this for the next fortnight actually this time two weeks i will be in cairns so We'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm working 
What have I got? I've only got tonight and then I've got Wednesday, Thursday, day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night shift. So um, it's going to be quite reasonably quiet for me, which is great. Uh, however, Nathan is home for the weekend. And we are going to watch the rugby state of Union, state of origin um, rugby, uh, which is Queensland versus New South Wales. Um, there were tickets I brought for Nathan for his for a Christmas present, so we're going to that. And Perth weather, generally it's nice. We're expecting it to be absolutely belting down, but. Um, Somebody has said that they know that where we are sitting, um, we should be out of the rain. So, I suppose for the price I paid for the tickets. Hope so. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what have I got to do for the next two weeks besides pack my bags to go to Cairns? Which I will show you how I pack up because I have travelled before and taken diamond paintings across to Cairns before. I've taken them to Sydney as well. Um, so I will take you through how I how I pack. Um, I will need to, however, kit up the steampunk diamond painting. I will need to kit up. I'm thinking it'll be Elsa that I take with me. So I'll probably kit up Elsa because uh, I've got the empty containers for those. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Oh, no, that's okay. I did complete that. That was just me having a a um, thought about why I've got an empty container, but it's okay. I finished the diamond painting. Um, so I've got two empty storage containers. Um, so that gives me Elsa and the Steampunk, which means the carousel, the girl by the carousel, I have to work out another storage for her for that one just so that I can work on it sooner but yeah there'll be three kidding ups that I have to do in the next two weeks um, and when I went to Cairns last time I had some small two small partial diamond paintings um, to do I did one on the plane there and one on the plane back which were quite good um, Excuse me, sorry, it's nearly bedtime. Um, but I don't want to do any diamond paintings on the plane. Um, I can do it. I know I can do it. I've done it, obviously. Um, I use a power pack and my A little A4 light pad, um, light board, and and just do small ones. But what I'm looking at is I might actually purchase from Amazon Prime a beaded cross stitch to give it a go um, so just to watch how that is and see how that goes um, so yeah that's going to be the next fortnight for me and obviously just work on more dime paintings and I still I need to actually do some recordings of the leopard diamond painting so that we can I can get more of those South African travels out because they are uh, it's really good to be able to share um, so much Okay, so I'm going to leave it there and um, hopefully you've liked this vlog. Thank you everybody for um, subscribing to me and your comments. I love reading them all. I don't necessarily comment on everything, um, but I try to. But there's just some things that just don't require commenting. Um, they just, yeah. Um... My subscriber count now is at 490, so I'm 10 subscribers off the magical 500. And, um, yeah, um, we'll see how that goes. Um, so that's it, and I'll sign off for here. Please, um, fire away with the comments. I love, love them. Um, please... Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Um, I'm seeing the odd, I've got a couple of thumbs down in this last lot of uploads that I did this fortnight. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I think some of it might be in relation to the fact that maybe my sound was a bit crappy, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, what else? So yeah, and hit the bell. Um, I will have, I will be doing a lot of recording in the next couple of days just so that I can get some stuff there and just do what I don't like um, and put some sh and put some diamond painting stuff up on a schedule so that you will see see some stuff. Otherwise, you're not going to see anything until I get to Ken's and do my fortnightly vlog. Um, no, no, you'll probably get some more videos before I uh, head to Cairns. But um, it's while I'm in Cairns, you won't get as many. So I want to record for those. So, yeah, I will see you in my next video. And uh, thank you for watching and subscribing. Bye.